In this video, we have total carnage in turn one at Monza. And we fight for the win here in Beat the Meta. But do I do it? Hello, everyone, and welcome back to a Gran Turismo video where we're doing Beat the Meta in the Subaru WRX Group 3 car. You can see that right there. Let's kick off this first race then at Monza. And this one is going to be a tricky one. I fully well know this. Now, if you do enjoy this video, do give it a like. Or do subscribe to the channel. Hey, I'm dressed up for this. I'm in a pink shirt as well as we head towards turn number one. Any carnage in turn one? What are we looking at here? Oh, hello. Taking the voiding action there is the Bradders. If I always stay there from... Who's that? HCZ. But actually, not too bad of a turn at one. I'll tell you what, it's proving me wrong this, isn't it? In terms of carnage at turn one, Monza. But here we are then on the outside cameras. We race the check driver there. Crazy ick. Let's see what happens. It reminds me of South Park and Ike as we head towards this next chicane then. Normally, this is not in the, the first chicane. There's always some in the second chicane. Here we go then. Hard on the brakes. Everyone taking it nice and easy. And actually, some pretty good racing. I'm going for the cut back then through that chicane. And here we go alongside the Turkish driver and through up into P14 then as we go back on board into this right-hander. A little bit of contact up ahead. HCZ all over the place there. Brings it back on circuit. The Bradders looking down the inside of Stella. Not going to go for the move there. And the Toyota Supra is the car in quote. We've got somebody who's actually crashed there. Oh, they're gone as well. We'll try and have a look at that in a second. In fact, let's have a look at it right now, shall we? So let's go back. Oh, it's the leader as well. It's Sam going through the second Lesbo then. Onto the slippy bit. Round they go. And into the barrier. So that explains what happened to them. But bottled the lead there. That's unfortunate. And I do love this camera. Look at that. The static camera. Right, back on board then at the end of lap one. Here we go. The brand has gone wide. We've got Zeke behind us in that Corvette. But with all the fighting going on up ahead, I am not going to go in the pits. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. A couple of other people are going into the pits though. As we head towards turn number one then. Hard on the brakes we go again. And there's the Supra gone wide there. HCZ struggling in this race. It really is struggling. Had lots of folks there. Now understeering to turn one by outbreaking themselves then. As we continue on as there. Annoyingly, this is going to cost me some time then. As we are behind this Supra again. Now these Supras just keep pulling on the straights. They really do. That's where they get all the time here then. As we head towards the second again. I've got to somehow make it work. Somehow, some way here in Beat the Meta. And the Bradders with a very good move there into the second chicane. Then lots of folks here on exit, though. Gets it a bit wrong on exit. And hey, there going for the move back on the intensity Bradders. This is costing me time, though, as we go into the right hand. I will explain Beat the Meta a little bit in a second. I have a bit of a wiggle there as well. We advance further on here. And because of that fighting, I think I'm going to go in the pits. And I was just waiting to see what they were going to do. So we head out the other side of the pit. Where is that Corvette? That was right behind me. There it is. As it goes on by, it shows you how much time we lost there. The undercut worked for sake then. And we drop down to P last at the moment. Let's see if we can bring that back. So beat the meta. Let's talk about the, this race, this whole video series that we've been doing. The meta. Let's talk about that. What is the meta? The meta is picking the best strategy. Best strategy is picking the best car. Like the brothers did there. But the brothers lost more time on the next lap. So we jump them in the pits. So we're going to try and beat the Supra, which is currently the best car here. Now we jump up board Sparks here a bit further on in the lap. Then in towards the second chicane we go. Looking like someone's going down the inside. Sparks takes avoiding action. Good awareness there from Sparks. Really struggling to get around there. The chicane avoiding that reset, but did lose a lot of time. Actually, it looks like I'm getting close. There is Sparks then as we jump back on board myself. In towards the right hander we go then. Sparks will have dirt on their tyres as well. Off on the slippy stuff as well. Struggling here is Sparks in towards the right. We've got Max Power's been pushed out wide up ahead. Sparks is the rear end then. We're going to go down the inside of the Michelin machine. You can see my facial reaction there as we go on by that Lexus then. Up ahead then. Big battles going on here. We don't want the big battles if we've pitched. We want to be accelerating to try and get closer and closer to that P1 fight. But we're quite far away at the moment. In towards the Scari we go then. And through there, just clipping there. Oh, hello, Max Power's going sliding. Max Power's going drifting. Oh, and the Ghosting just kicked in exactly when we need to. Thank you, Ghosting. It does work sometimes then. As we see that Lexus slowly catching up to my rear exhaust then goes towards the inside. Does Sparks. Is he going to go for the send then? Down the inside. Keeps it on the inside. Sparks just getting stopped. Beautiful little move there by Sparks. Really well played with that one. And unfortunately gone off on the exit of the Parabolica then. That normally means a penalty. But we'll see what happens then as we jump onto that outside camera. Then the chase camera here. And let's see what happens we head towards turn one. Hopefully you don't mind me moving towards the right hand side there in terms of the camera. So you can see Sparks here. 
And you can see that Lexus Supra actually matched on the straight, which is interesting to see. Hard on the brakes we go. Sparks trying to send it around the outside. Goes a bit too deep. Going to head off, unfortunately, for Sparks. Going to disappear with that reset there. Very, very unfortunate for Sparks there. Good race with you, though, as we see somebody with a penalty there in that Toyota Supra. Spanish driver falling behind then. So we're up into P11 right now. Now with this Beat the Meta video series, we do do a last to first challenge. This is our first race. And then we'll set qualifying times in the car in question. As we continue on through here, where is that yellow flag? Oh, hello. You're very far off. I'm going very slowly. What happened to you then? Let's have a look at this then as they go into the chicane. In towards the left we go and clipping the sausage. Oh, a bit of oast here there. Oh, tried to catch it into the barrier. And then all sorts going wrong here. They've hit the pause button and they're not very happy. Just letting the AI control it. Well, it's controlling it very, very slowly. So very slow rejoin there. And that's how we overtake the Italian. So lap number eight there. Continuing out here then. HTZ just going all sorts of sideways again. Really struggling in his first race with traction. Oversteer, understeer, just absolutely everything. We've got a good run on the Supra. I normally wouldn't go for the move at Ascari, but we are very close here. We had a big old run then, so we're going to just send it down the inside. And we're not fighting for anything at this moment in time, so it's absolutely fine. We give each other plenty of racing room there. Good racing with the Brit then. Through we go up into P9. Can we keep it though? That is the question as we fast forward a bit longer then. Through the right we go, and you can see there they're all over my exhaust then. They go towards that left hand side. We're going to have to go to the chase cam once again here to show you the action. And you see someone coming out of the pits. Well, that's crazy from earlier on then. So we overtake them. Three wide for a moment there. Somebody behind us, a Spanish driver, looking to try and get a pass, but nowhere to go. HCZ back on through there. Well played with that move indeed. Around the outside in towards two one. It shows you the power of that super at the top end. It really, really, really does. Get further on in the race and the final lap heading towards Ascari. We've got the Italian news come out the pits there of Suvituzzo, Twitch TV, I guess. Uh, and HCZ as they go into Ascari then. The Italian really goes deep on the brakes. Gives the super up ahead a good run. I'm actually in a super sandwich here. As I go into the left part of Ascari then. I continue on out here. I've got the run on the super up ahead. So we're slowly going to catch up with that slipstream then. They go out the slipstream. I'm not sure why they went out the slipstream there. We're going to go towards that left hand side. But now we haven't got the pull. Here we go. They're going to try and send it round the outside. Here we go. Does it work? Well, we get a slight tag. Nothing major then because they were worried about the Spanish driver behind them. HTZ loses two positions. One corner. Absolute reverse Moses maneuver as we head towards the line. P8 in the first race. Not too shabby at all then as we cross that line. It gives me a little bit of hope here that it may be possible. But we'll have to see how we go. So P8, not too shabby. It's definitely in Super Sandwich. Although at the top there, lots of beat the metas. We've got a Peugeot Vision, Vision Grand Turismo car, which has one. Well, we still need to do beat the meta with that car. But we'll see how we go. So we set a lap time. We don't move very far up the grid. We're in P12 there, 149.1. So we definitely have to get into the 48. So obviously the rank one time is a 47.0. And they always say if the time is within a second, it's probably doable. Anyway, look at that Ford up ahead. Sends it down the inside. Max Power saw it coming. Goes for avoiding action. We've got the Ford on the inside. There's little tags here, there, and everywhere. But we leave the corner somehow surviving that turn one carnage. So let's see exactly what happened here. So the Ford gets a really good run here. Just boosted. Actually, it boosted Ford here. As we head towards turn at number one. So just late on the brake there. Sends it on two. Max Power sees it into the Greek driver. Then the Greek driver's going to get reset. I get slight tag there from the Corvette. Nothing major there. Corvette couldn't have done a thing. Five second penalty for Beastie, which is fair enough for that move. That's completely justifiable uh, and fair in my opinion. But was waiting up as well for the Greek driver's fair play. Right, further on into this race then. We're still on lap one. A second chicane there. Not much happening here. Although a fight up ahead. A penalty as well. I can't even see who that's for then. As we go through the right hand, a mass ranger with a penalty. Slight tag between the two Supras. All sorts of obviously, I had to slam on the anchors before I hit the Spanish driver as we go into the right. But it all settles down here. As we continue on out of there, they're still side by side. Who do I pick? Well, I picked Stella in this situation just because Stella was on the inside. And let's see if we can bum draft our way past the Spanish driver. Yes, we do. Looks like they gave up a little bit as well um, as we head towards Scari. Just lifting off now because we're close to the breaking zone. They clip the grass and all sorts of folks here. They do catch it though. Fair play to them as we continue. Oh, track limit penalty for a catch. That is unfortunate. That really is unfortunate indeed. So let's advance towards the start of lap number two then. Stella up ahead here as we go hard on the brakes. Super looking down the inside then behind. Have to leave that gap open there in turn one. But that does cost a bit of time as they just get a little tap from behind. So... We're in P7 still then. As we go to lap number three, we overtook Stella, of course. Apex Twin with a penalty, so we overtake them. Up into P5 now. Not too shabby at all. What we've got, who's that? Mast Ranger, Sam Webbles, to found it and pleb to mix up ahead. 
I know Plebs Mix is on a wheel now, so maybe learning the wheel, not too sure. That Supra coming at me then. Let's jump on board the Supra. Down the inside, they go. This is Stella as we go into the right-hander. Sam with a penalty up ahead. Really good move here by the German driver. Really good send down the inside. Made it work, made it happen. Fair play to you indeed. So let's fast forward a bit further on here then as we head towards the second chicane. What's going to happen here then as we go into here? Nothing major there. As we continue on out. Oh, Stella got a penalty. I completely forgot about that. Stella got a penalty. Let's jump aboard Sam. Also with a penalty here. Goes a bit wide in Lesmo 1. Clips the gravel. Goes for a spin into the barrier. Sam with another crash. Is that two crashes into him? I'm not too sure. Right, okay. Let's jump back on board here. So Stella's going for the move here after taking that penalty. We're on lap number six now. And Stella with the same move as earlier. However, I've kept it on the inside outside there as we continue on. Now, I wouldn't normally fight that too much, but... We're not going to win this race at this moment in time. So I'm like, okay, fair enough. We'll just have a bit of a fight here as we continue on now. I also wanted to try, try and keep this position because I felt like Stella would overtake me and get a penalty. And I started two penalties already. Maybe I could keep this. But let's see what happens. Um, we've got Apex Twin coming into the battle as well. Backed out of that one, which is a pretty smart move, to be honest with you. And we're going to talk about smart driving a bit later on in this video as we continue on out of there. I get a penalty this time. Just cut the corner a bit too much. My mistake there. And unfortunately, that is going to cost me some time and a half down that back straight here at Monza. Right. Oh, oh hello. I looked in the rear view mirror and Apex Twin's gone for a spin. So we're not going to lose a position to Apex Twin there. That is unfortunate doing the same incident as earlier on that Sam did. Right into the pits and out we go. Just to avoid any, well, action that's happening. Here's Max Power absolutely flying behind me. Goes for that around the left-hand side. You saw that slipstream as well. Really good stuff by Max Power. I've had some brilliant races with Max Power this week. I really have. Probably the smartest driver on the grid this week, if I do say so myself. I've had some fantastic races with Max Power, and he's driven, like, superbly. Bump drafted where needs, bump draft, overtake oh, where needs to overtake. Absolutely nailed the races where I've seen Max Power race. It's been awesome to race with you as uh, so we head down here. Then hard on the brakes <laughs> into the back of the Spanish driver. This Subaru does have some good brakes, to be honest with you. Uh, it just struggles on acceleration. Sometimes you have to do the old accelerate, lift off, accelerate sort of thing just to get that traction in this car. Spanish driver struggling here a little bit. I'm going to try around the outside at Lesmo 1 there. Not really going to work then, is it? And we've just continued to lose time to the Swedish driver in P1, of course. Pipe to mix as we go into the second one there. Continuing on out of here. We advance towards the end of the race and the final lap. Here we go. Zapes coming out of the pit center. We're up into P7. And uh, Max Power has stayed within reach there. I'm just looking down the inside. Just a bit of a scare there. Oh, hello. Boosted's just gone deep up ahead then in the Ford. That's not good here as we continue on. I'm pretty sure they have a pitted at this moment in time. So we continue out there in P6. Steve's curse still does remain as we go side by side with the Spanish driver. Oh, try to at least, but that super is pulling. Max Power's trying to give me slipstream. Again, big thank you, mate. And that's actually helpful to Max Power as well. If I'm ahead, I will struggle to catch Max Power where Supra will catch up to that Porsche much more quickly on the straight. So it does actually help Max Power giving me a bit of slip, but I couldn't actually make that work there versus the power of the Supra. So we head towards the final corner then here at Monza. The Parabolica. What can we do then? We're looking down the inside of the Spanish driver. Are we going to send it? Not quite. They do break late themselves. There is a bit of a gap there. I tried to go in here, but it would have forced a tap. So I'm not going to do it. What I'm going to try instead is to cut as much of the circuit as possible to try and get ahead here of the Spanish driver by using all of the inside line. Then can we do it? That's the question. No, we stay in P6 there. Good little race there uh, between the Spanish driver and Max Power. Uh, but yes, uh, very awkward with some of the oversteer that was happening earlier on. Stella did come on with P3 there. So that move earlier on that was definitely worth it down into turn one. So we skip race number three because it had Kimmy in. We go to race number four and we're starting in P2. Yes, we are indeed. Now, this is going to be an interesting race. Mr. Mario up ahead in the 47s. This car is on a 48.3. There's about two more attempts in the lap if I nail it. There's not much more than that. So we'll see if we can get that a little bit later on in this video as we go into turn one then. Mario defending that very nicely. Max Power goes for a bit of a spin there. Somebody tap in the rear quarter of Max Power. <laughs> We've seen Max Power a lot this week in all the videos. Obviously enjoying Monza in that Porsche 911. Right. The question is, can we keep up with this Toyota Supra? That is, well, I'll say the question and then potentially overtake them, force them into a mistake maybe. We'll see what happens here as we go into this braking zone then for the second chicane then hard on the brakes. Too much happening there. There wasn't a cut or anything. 
bit of old steer there, but nothing major. Not hugely dramatic then for the Spanish driver. We got slap number five. They had pulled away here. However, if you look in the distance, they are ghosted at the moment. They are taking a big old penalty. They must have cut a lot of the circuit. Here we go then. Another run on the Spanish driver. Can we make it work this time then? Hard on the brakes into Parabolica. Can we get it done? They defend that inside line. We're looking around the outside, but nowhere to go there. Beautiful defense there from Mr. Mario 05. As we continue on then in the race. And here we go. X in the pit on the final lap. Then they've up ahead two and a half seconds. But what I want to show you here, folks. I've just remembered what happens here. Is this very, very frustrating book. So we're going to turn it here. I want you to look at the steering wheel here. Look, look how much I'm turning. And how little the car is turning. I am turning the wheel so much. And the car just does not want to turn. I then pause, unpause. Then the car wants to turn. And then we continue on out. Very frustrating book this. Very frustrating. It cost me a load of time there. And I come home in P2. So we're P2 there. Now that was Saturday night. It was actually about half past midnight or midnight or somewhere like that in terms of that. So I decided to do some races on the Sunday. The question is, did I beat the meta? That is the big old question. Well, folks, unfortunately, no, we didn't beat the meta. I raced a few races on Sunday. I think I did four races in total. And it just had really annoying driving in it, to be honest. We had people who hadn't pit facing people who had pit. Therefore, slowing them down. They lost positions. I lost time. Very frustrating. We had people punting me off, running me off wide. Again, very, very, very frustrating indeed. Now, you see in the top 10 there that I've done uh, the Beat the Meta in, uh, 10 on the leaderboard, that is. Another 10 cars there for you as well, where I've got first position. But with the infuriating driving, I decided that I wasn't having fun anymore, and I did stop in the end. I may try it in the evening. I'm not too sure, and I may update you a little bit later on if I do do Beat the Meta. But, unfortunately... I couldn't really do it. It's very hard. The Supra is too dominant here. You get people who think they're faster and then they get ahead of you and then you're keeping up in a much slower car and it's like, if you'd have worked together, we maybe could have had a win or a P1, P2. And then you end up fighting and it's just, it's very frustrating. It's very frustrating, this one, because you have people pushing you out, people fighting, people not working smart. And I said it earlier, Max Power was racing so smart throughout this. Even on the Sunday, Max Power was working perfectly. And then I got pushed off. And instead of a win on P2, that me and Max Power would have got, somebody else pushed us off and caused the issue. So we'll come home in second then. It turns to beat the meta for the Subaru. Doesn't mean we're going to have to retry it. We are going to have to retry the other cars there. Now, if you're wondering about the numbers in the brackets, that is the voting system. So if you want to vote for your car that you want to see race here, if I've not done beat the meta with it, remember, if I've already got a win, I'm not doing it again, then do let me know in the comments. Just write the name of the car that you want to see me race. I mean, there's a couple I need to add to this scoring system. I've got them in the email. And I am up to date with comments pretty much. So do let me know if you want to see a car race next and I will see what I can do. Unfortunately, folks, that's going to be it for this Beat the Meta video. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Do give it a like if you want to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel to stay in touch with all the latest content. But that is going to be it for me and this video. There's another video there if you want to check out in terms of Beat the Meta and the car profiles. If you ever wondered what they're like, because that's what's coming next for this Subaru, they're on the right hand side. A big thank you for watching as always. Big thank you for the support. And I hope to see you in another video. I'll live stream again very soon.